Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 7. Um, so three Robot Masters down, one to go, and that's Freeze Man. And uh, Freeze Man is uh, a pain in the butt. Especially if you don't have his weakness. Oh my gosh. Ah, and I totally just walked right into that one. Um, these polar bears, I guess you could consider them, they're not technically mini bosses, but they do take a, a, a lot of damage. Um, and, uh, yeah, they show up a few times. I think there's three of them in total in this stage. But they're all pretty easy to deal with. Oh crap, the third one. Wow, really? The third one adds uh, is a little tougher than the first two, so... We'll see that when we get to it. These guys shoot... Um, little icicles at you and you can these little sections of ice will break if you stand on them for too long uh, but yeah the icicles that these guys drop can use as platforms like that whoa and of course ice physics that was almost really bad ah! okay and coming up we want to switch to the rush coil so we can hop up here and as you can see, there's the letter H. Whoops. Oh, crap. Well, this could be bad. No! Gosh darn it. You can't get up there with just Rush Jet alone. Oh, that's not good. And I don't think those respawn. No, they do not. Welp. I guess we'll be coming back here another time. That's not good. Oh well. That's not a devastating loss. Ah, but here I do want to get on. To oh my goodness, really? I'm having the worst luck with jumps today. It doesn't help that with the, the different graphics and hitboxes that it looks like you're gonna be able to make a, a jump and you would normally make that jump if this were regular classic series Mega Man game but yeah see and that's what happens if Rush gets hit before dang it I hate those things stop it okay gosh I hate those things the only reason I do that is because that jump is freaking hard without using Rush. So as you can see, this third polar bear adds a new twist to his repertoire in which he summons icicles from the ceiling. And he does seem to take more hits to kill as well, so... And this ladder is a pain in the butt. Like I said before, you think you're lined up with it and you can you can grab it and then you can't so I just use rush coil to get through there here be on the lookout for these little sled guys because they'll drop these little exploding balls and we're through and I'm gonna take a death because <laughs> I've got like no health left for freeze man and I want all the health I can get for this fight cuz he's a pain in the butt and of course he like I don't understand why he like froze himself in a block of ice like I, I just I just don't get it like why would you do that to yourself that doesn't make any sense but whatever freeze man And of course he's weak to the junk shield. You can get 
usually get two shots in before um, it gets uh, completely destroyed. And he's already done, as you can see. And the good thing about the junk shield is if it's going he'll and he manages to freeze you, he'll just walk right into it. But yeah, if you don't have the junk shield, there's so much stuff going on that you're just going to be like, what is going on? Speaking of what's going on, the freeze cracker fires ice bullets, doesn't it? Yes, and the bullets will split when they hit the ground. So they don't actually hit the ground, but if they hit a wall or something, um, they'll break apart. and Kind of like um, shotgun ice does in Mega Man X. But that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Mega Man 7. Um, I'll see you for the next one. Oh, wait, no I won't, because there's more to talk about. Welcome home, Mega Man. Dr. Light, what do you think of base? His actions don't seem to indicate a threat. I don't believe he is our enemy. What? Something's happening. What is this? Wily is attacking the robot museum. You must leave now, Mega Man. And leave we shall, but we'll tackle this robot museum next time on Let's Play Mega Man 7. For reals this time, I'm signing out. See you next time.